So today I'm gonna to share an idea with you of how you can have some influence and persuasion with those vendors that you're currently dealing with in terms of taking that offer, or perhaps you might have a seller that's looking at selling but wants to postpone. You might wanna check out this episode. So guys, you know what's really funny? I'm dealing with a lot of clients right now and they're thinking, how can I get this vendor to perhaps take the offer that's currently on the table? A couple of things that I wanna share with you. You can use this technique or a level of influence persuasion, but for their reasons, not yours. This is about them to say, why? Why do I do this now? This is not about me. We've all heard about commission breath, but really about them. So maybe explain to them this, and I found this has worked extremely well and been super effective with some of my clients. Mr. and Mrs. Seller, have you heard about the property clock? Let me just draw this property clock for you. So property as we know it runs on a clock, and on this clock at the top at 12 o'clock is what we call peak market, and right down the bottom at six o'clock is what we call bottom of the market. So Mr. and Mrs. Seller, what you may want to understand is when were we at the bottom of the market? We were in the bottom of the market during the GFC. And that occurred during 2009. And we stayed at the bottom of the market, meaning prices didn't increase. There was no growth in property up until 2013. That's according to core logic. Now, down here at seven o'clock, we saw the first sign of what we call in May of 2013, a market rebound. Yes, market rebound is what we call the first time we actually see property, price, pro, property prices start to increase. Lucky I got that out. Then what we saw at about 10 o'clock was say, we saw 2014, then we got into 2015, and then in 2016, and in that type of market, we saw what we call a rising sales market. And you know it, and I know it, if you've been in the game for the last three or four years, you just saw property prices go up like crazy, 10%, 20%, 30%. You would have seen someone buy a property for a million dollars and like a year later, it was worth 1.2. That's what we called a rising sales market, Mr. and Mrs. Seller. But then in the peak, what we called, and we hit 12 o'clock, Mr. and Mrs. Seller, was in 2017, which was last year. Now, the good news for you, Mr. and Mrs. Seller, is we have an offer here today. And I think you need to make your decision based on what we know, rather than what we don't know. And at one o'clock today, we're in 2018, and we're entering what we're starting to see is called a falling sales market. And in a falling sales market is the first time we start to see prices contract and coming off. You've seen it, and, and your vendors are seeing it right now. Then, as we go here, Mr. and Mrs. Vendor, 2019, 2020, 2021, we are gonna be entering what we call the flat sales market. And then eventually, we will hit what we call the bottom of the market again. That's probably four to five years away. I know clients just like you that are thinking, maybe we should just wait, wait for another 12 months and see if the market rebounds. History has told us that the markets go up and the market goes down. Just a bit like the sun goes up and the sun comes down. We do know that. So Mr. and Mrs. Seller, the point you need to ask yourself is at what level do you wanna come off at? If we have an offer today at $1 million for your home, you don't wanna be waiting next year to get maybe 950 or 940. Make a decision based on what we know rather than what we don't know. Now here's the thing, you will have some clients thinking, well, how do we know that this is true? Now. I'm just relying on history and the patterns. And the last time we were at the bottom of the market was in actually 1997, which was the Asian crisis. I'm not sure if you remember, some of you may have still been in nappies, but for me, who's a little bit older, I remember working in that market. And then we slowly saw the market rebound in 98, and then in 99, 2000, we had the Olympics, and then we hit that rising sales market in 01, 02, and then we hit the market peak in 03, and then guess what? We saw the falling sales market 04, 05, 06, 07, 08, it picked up a little bit, but then we had the global financial crisis, which occurred in the US back in 08, and then we hit the bottom. So if we look at history, Mr. and Mrs. Seller, it tells us that we're going into a falling market and we're gonna go into that flat sales market. The reality is, Mr. and Mrs. Seller, 
that we haven't even seen interest rates come up. And once interest rates come up, there's gonna be a lot of supply of properties on the market, an oversupply. And you're gonna have a lot of buyers right now that won't be able to afford with the high interest rates. It's gonna be the perfect storm for a property crash. Now, you may not wanna go that deep and scare them that much, but you wanna make them aware of where the property market is now. So leave it with them that at the moment, we're at one o'clock and we're in the falling sales market, so it's not that bad. But we are heading down, not going up in terms of prices. Question you need to ask yourself, Mr. and Mrs. Seller, at what point would you like to get off at? Okay, guys, remember, ideas mean nothing without execution. Okay. Stop. <laughs> you put me on the spot. You put me on the spot. Okay. <laughs>